12 News Today starts now. For the first time in 42 years, Lewis Taylor is waking up outside of a prison cell. And this morning, the man convicted in the Pioneer Hotel fire will talk for the first time, sharing his side of what happened back in December of 1970. Taylor walked free yesterday after entering a no contest plea. Today, he and his lawyer are expected to address what they believe went wrong during the 1972 trial. To this day, prosecutors still believe Taylor intentionally set the fire that killed nearly 30 people. But with the help of the Arizona Justice Project, Taylor was able to go free. He has always maintained his innocence. What's unfortunate is the tale of two tragedy, you know, the Pioneer Hotel fire and me getting convicted for it. The Pima County attorney was prepared for a retrial, but the office was not convinced a jury would convict him for a second time, so they offered Taylor a plea deal and a no contest plea. But many wonder why Taylor would plead no contest, because in the eyes of the law, it doesn't make him an innocent man. A legal expert says he thinks Taylor was just ready for the whole thing to be over. Now, no contest differs from guilty. No contest means you're not admitting guilt, but you're not contesting the charges. He now gives up his right to sue the government for wrongful conviction. Because of the no contest plea, the conviction remains on Taylor's record. If he had decided to fight to clear his name, Attorney David Cantor says it could have taken years for a new trial to start.